Fall is a great time of year for planting almost anything. And the people who live here asked me to come by and do a little fall planting and sprucing up and decorating for fall. First thing I noticed though was these azaleas. Notice here how the foliage, the new foliage is a nice dark healthy green, but the other foliage is kind of mottled in yellow. That's from lace bugs. And lace bugs are tiny little insects who suck the juice out of the underside of the leaf. What we need to control them is Saigon, or dimethoate it's called. We want to spray it to the point of runoff, but it's a systemic chemical. And what it'll do is it'll kill the lace bugs on the underside of the leaf, even if I only spray it on the top side of the leaf. Of course, what we came to do is some planting. And when it comes to fall planting, mum's the word. Right over here, we've got a hosta lily who unfortunately got a little too much sun this year. It was not the right location for a hosta. So we're going to take this out, put it in a shadier location, and replace it with a nice, bright, splashy colored chrysanthemum. I want a nice, bright yellow one right here. There's nothing wrong with this hosta except that it got too much sun. So when we take it out, we'll certainly transplant it, again, to a shadier location. This is really a perfectly good hosta, in spite of the fact that it's all browned up. That's just from too much sun. In a shadier location, this plant will look terrific next year, but it doesn't belong in this location. A chrysanthemum, on the other hand, will take the full sun. Mums are perennials, so it should come back next year, but they're kind of tender, and they've also hybridized mums in the last 15 or 20 years with more southern varieties, so they've lost a little of their winter hardiness in favor of these brighter, more vibrant colors and better looking flowers. So if your mums don't come back for you, don't worry about it. Just get some new ones next fall. Think of it as a good looking fall blooming annual. Mums may come up early in the spring. They're actually from a maritime climate. And if that happens, you'll have new growth coming up from the crown of the plant down here. New growth like this, just coming out. If that happens, and then you have a late frost in the spring, it'll kill not only the new growth, but the entire plant. So watch your mums in the spring. If they start putting out new growth too early, either mulch them with something that'll stay light and loose and aerified, or cut that new growth off. Because if it frosts, it'll kill the whole plant right down to the root. Legend has it that Japan was settled by a group of young people who were searching for the fountain of youth. They took a ship loaded with mums and went looking for that fountain. They were going to trade the flowers for the secret. Unfortunately, all they found was Japan. They stayed there, and legend has it that that's how Japan was settled. Pretty neat, huh? Once your mums have begun to bloom, they're going to bloom all the way until a hard frost kills them. And at that point, you cut them off at the ground, cover them with mulch, and they'll be back next spring. You know, we've become a nation of decorators, and I love it. We decorate for Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, we decorate for the 4th of July. But around my house, when it comes to decorating for the fall, mum's the word.